What's good with y'all boys, man? My fault, my fault for being away for a little while. It's just 2K24 is right around the corner. We're still stuck on 23. Y'all know how it is. But today we have a playmaking five. And if you used to watch me back in 2K20, I had this build and I absolutely loved it. Now it ain't quite like the one in 2K20, but y'all see this build can do everything. Now I tried to get a teammate to go to the park so I could show off the pass accuracy more, but I couldn't get one. So we're going to be rocking on the 1v1 court. So I guess pass accuracy don't matter but having that 86 on a playmaking five actually goes crazy and y'all see the rest we got an 80 job and dunk we get all the good dunks 81 three ball 85 ball handle and we also have really good defense now if y'all want my jump shot this is exactly what i was using right here i had to go two percent rudy gay just because my three started off at a 79 and then if you want my dribble moves this build does not get michael jordan dribble style so we rock out with gabby instead and everything else is pretty much the same as normal but hold up big fella y'all know i can't get to the playmaking five gameplay until y'all boys like the video so i'm gonna give y'all a second i appreciate it and then make sure y'all boys spam up that sub button if you're rocking with the content in 2k23 i promise i'm about to be delivering the same in 2k24 but i ain't gonna waste too much time let's hop straight into it i ain't gonna lie i'm ready to see exactly what this build can do y'all because if you watch me in 2K20, I had a playmaking five. And it was one of my soul's favorites to watch a playmaking five. So let's go ahead and get right into it with today's video. I really can't figure out why you're sitting there leaving me open, big fella. Do you want to lose this game? I'm going to green every single time. That's what I don't get about these people. And then once I get this take, I could really break ankles, but he's not coming up here. So we're just gonna show how well the bill can shoot. This is a problem with all taller bills that I use, bro. Every Everybody wants to just sag off the whole time and it don't allow me to cook. And it would be great to get an ankle breaker right here, but y'all know 2K, bro. I'm probably not getting an ankle breaker no matter what I do. I'm absolutely baking him and can't get no ankle. At this point, I don't even think I know how to get an ankle breaker. There we go. We got a nice little animation. Nothing too crazy. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This was probably the easiest game we're gonna have. It was so easy to beat this dude. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He, he was trash. All right, I think we got us another bot right here, but I still gotta give him the same treatment. We got to get to cooking. I honestly wish builds were more like they used to be because a playmaking five used to feel super rare. Like the, not just the build name, the way the build played felt super rare. And I feel like you just don't get that with builds anymore because every build can do the same thing pretty much on 2K23, almost every single build. Especially Especially with there only being a 75 speed with ball requirement, it's getting bad out here. But it looks like the playmaking fives done made bro quit. So I'm gonna green to three and we're gonna go ahead and skip this game. But back to what I was saying, I still love using these rare builds. They just don't feel too rare anymore. When the lowest speed with ball requirement is a 75 and you pretty much have every build doing the same thing, I mean, how rare can you get? I just feel like in 2K23 and 22, pretty much every since we got on next gen, every builder has been way too overpowered but i ain't gonna lie y'all they didn't go stop me from cooking here today hold on hold on double and then we go into the green if you're gonna sit paint i'm going to green this playmaking five build is way better than the ones we used back in the day like 2k20 because you couldn't do all this you had to rely on hotbacks and stuff look i'm almost out of energy it don't matter, bro. The build can do everything. And honestly, I do rock with using rare builds still a whole lot because you get a rare name plus you can do everything. I mean, you can't lose out on that. And I'm still just greening everything out of energy. I have got a comment before that said that I pretty much play the same with every build is because every build pretty much plays the same on this game, y'all. There ain't much more to do. I'm hoping in 2K24 that really does change, y'all, because that's why I've really got so bored with 2K23 this year. And look at this, bro. This is all anybody does that I play against. I don't know what's wrong with people, bro. Get off of my court, big fella. All that little hop back in and running around, it's not working. All right, now we got Mira stepping, and this man is a 99. So these are the people you gotta watch out for. I'm gonna have to lock it in now. I ain't gonna lie, dude's probably gonna be playing pretty good defense. I'm I'm out of energy right here. I'm gonna have to try to rim run do something and I'm boxed. But see, this is what the defense does too. Plus we're taller, you're not gonna be able to get none for free. I gave him the ball right back, but we can still play defense again, man. This is what this build does right here. That is good D. And even though he's making me struggle to score as well, it ain't no problem if we keep getting stops. Now, if he keeps to let me attack the rim, I'm gonna keep doing it. But if he's gonna start sagging off at some point, that's when we'll go for the three, but he ain't doing it too much yet. 
that. And now look at him. I think I already got him quitting just because of the defense, y'all. When you box somebody up like that on this game, bro, they don't enjoy playing against you. It just is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and get straight into the next game. Two out of the five games I've played has already been people quitting, y'all. The Bill's doing his thing. But what I've really been impressed by is the defense on this Bill. We've been playing super good D. I don't know what he's doing. I guess because of our height and our weed span, it's just been hard for people to score against us because we ain't giving up no buckets. Now, he's going to start to sag off, and there he goes, and that's when we take our nice little three. I'm telling y'all, the 1v1 court is super easy, y'all. You pretty much just take whatever buckets they give you. And if you know how to dribble at all, bro, like y'all see this. If you know how to do any of this, you can go ahead and just take whatever because they're not going to be able to check you all game. If they play up on a bill like this, it's a rim run. If they sag off, y'all know what it is. It's a green every time. And it gets to the point where the game just gets boring when you got to build this good because what can they do about you? Hold on a little bit deeper and we're still greening we can probably even pull up without dribbling from that deep on a playmaking five y'all what else do i got to say all right mr mafia are you gonna be the one that finally stops the playmaking five the one complaint i have about this build and it ain't even this build it's just 2k in general is why does this build not break more ankle and that's just more of 2k in general because everything with the higher ball control and playmaking takes should break more ankles that is what i like about my old playmaking 5 on 2k 20s i broke ankles y'all see though no matter what i do i probably ain't gonna y'all see all the dribble moves i'm hitting i'm not gonna break ankles at all and i know a lot of people sag off but in 2k 20 and stuff like that back in the day 2k 17 all that you could break ankles so much more and it just made the game more fun i feel like everybody gets rewarded for having a higher three you get limitless range hall of fame if you have a higher dunk limitless takeoff but us playmakers really don't get much when it comes to ankles like you put on slash take and you get all the dunks in the world you put on sharp take you can pull up from anywhere, but if you put on play take, it don't really help. I just miss when it used to be more of an ankle breaking takeover. And I don't know why everybody's leaving me open this video. I'm just trying to dribble to waste a little bit of time because I'm tired of shooting wide open threes every single game. But that's just kind of what you deal with when you got a bill like this. I can't lie to you. I mean, they're not going to be able to check you. But that's all I got for y'all boys today. Y'all, we only have two more days until we officially start getting 2K24 news. But I appreciate all y'all watching. I hope y'all have a good rest of the day and I'm out. Peace.